The Windrose 18 came with a pretty crappy rudder. Now I need another one. I need to build another rudder. I need to design and build a new rudder. That's coming up right now. We were out on the boat uh, last weekend and the weekend before and one of the problems we had was a little bit of the steering. You know, one of the problems that you have with any rudder is a thing called stall angle. And the way to resolve the stall angle issue is, of course, to have a good rudder. And a good rudder has what's called a foil or a profile. It's an aerodynamic profile which is based on aircraft aerodynamics, but also based on um, hydrodynamics, which is rudder dynamics, which is how you steer boats and ships. And one of the problems with this little rudder is apparently, besides it's being gashed up by the boat motor, as you can see it was cut up by the boat motor, and probably the reason it's cut up by the boat motor is because it was tearing too hard trying to steer the boat, and ran into the boat motor because the stall angle was too short. Why would the stall angle be too short? It's because of the profile. The profile, as you can see here, is just rectangular. It doesn't have a foil at all. Now, rectangular is me, what, what that means is that somebody took a piece of wood, albeit a one inch thick piece of wood, and just um, sharpened the, the front and the back of it, <laughs> and said, oh, well, that's a rudder. It's not a rudder. Um, that's a piece of wood <laughs> to steer a tiny little dinghy. I have a dinghy. I have an eight-foot windrows. So we need to fix this. And uh, until I have time to fix this one, I, I'll keep it as a spare. But I'm going to build a new one. And how do you build a new one? Because I don't have the original. So I had to go looking for it, and it turns out I went online. I found a copy of the original. Someone um, posted a photograph of the original with the um, with the post that, that it holds on to. Of course, it holds on to. It swings from here. This is a kick-up rudder, so kick-up when it runs. It's called a beach kit. Well, this <laughs> the beach kit is the two plates that you can uh, that attach this and then you can use it to kick up. So this can kick up when it runs into a beach or something like that. And it runs into sand, runs into the bottom. And it's got a drop down keel, center keel drops down uh, for, the, for the sailboat. And so uh, when it runs into stuff, it'll kick up and you can go into shallow water, which here in Florida Lakes is perfect. So let's go on that adventure. All right, so um, I found I found a, um, a rudder online that looks like mine. It came off a of Windrose 18. You have to tell the difference between a Windrose and a Laguna 18, which is a later model of the Windrose. The very early uh, models, sometimes it's called the Laguna 18. It's not a Laguna. They're two different vessels, two very different vessels. Um, as you can see here, this is a copy of the Windrose um, 18, and what I did was I um, I can't I measured. Okay, this is this is uh, this is what we have in the program. All right, and so um, <laughs> take two. So here is a photograph that somebody took of their the rudder. They were selling their windrows, and um, they were showing photos of everything, including the kick-up rudder. And this is what this is, kick-up rudder. And the part that we need to replace is down here, um, this little piece right here. As you can see, start drawing. The part that I have is this one right here. And then the tiller that I have is a piece of junk. Um, it's also, this uh, turns out to be too short. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a program called JMicrovision, which you can download, and I'll put a reference to that in the links down below. And I can make measurements of everything here. So let's do that. Thanks for watching my program. If you like my videos, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for an organized listing of my YouTube videos, go to my website, www.wheremyplacebos.com, and click on videos. Have a great day.